Again, good afternoon. Welcome to the uh, free market update for Tuesday, the what 17th. Uh, this is about the third time I believe I'm doing this video. Couldn't get the audio to work, so see if I can keep my uh, composure here. Um, so today we had at what I would I believe is a, a pretty good day uh, in Wall Street today. Um, after it started out on the Globex open last night, down a bit on some uh, Chinese data, we actually recovered very nicely overnight and traded, you know, higher. Now, what you're looking at here is a uh, this is a 24-hour uh, chart, and I, sh I say that because I want you to look at the fact that how we have this bullish engulfing uh, today, but then also I want to point out, I want to take us to a um, to a, a, re, a RTH chart, which is a regular trading hour session chart, and this is going to allow us to see that the cash session low of uh, Friday was lower than this last pivot, you know, weekly low, and the fact that um, that that very well can be, it appears, could be the low at the end of the week preceding this move that we look for higher into the end of this week's expiration. All right. So, but there's a little bit more to it than just that. Honestly, um, what I'm looking at is that first I want to take you to a weekly and point out the fact that as we uh, were grinding our way higher throughout, we've talked about this, how we had the uh, higher lows all the way up and then finally that was broken here while well, we had then lower highs down for three consecutive weeks which was ended last week right there you can see we had a higher uh, high last week that ended the one time frame lower in the weekly as of last week well go with me again back here and see that that also uh, that's that's a thing of the past now as of uh, today on the daily okay so this is really good this gives us an opportunity for um, the higher pivot lows here on this weekly the ending of the lower highs consecutively and the fact that on the Globex chart as you saw thanks to I think that Chinese data the lower low on the 24-hour chart gives us the bullish engulfing that you know could very easily allow us now to start to make for our way higher now today was pretty much a trend day so tomorrow we may get a little rest and then kind of you know continue the thing on Wednesday we'll have to see how that plays out but um, another thing I want to point out is if you go back here with me to the beginning of May you see we opened up at um, let's see where's the beginning of May Yes, I have to get to the Globex chart because the official open is actually in the Globex session of the 1st of May, and that goes to a weekly open of 2060 and three quarters there. Well, you know, granted, I will grant you this, had you sold, you know, the open on the first day, then obviously, um, you know, you've had opportunity for a little bit of downtick, sure, but it's also been in your face to the tune of about 20 handles and even today was higher by some seven and what seven maybe and a half points today higher than the monthly open so this whole sell and may go away thing is just it's not uh, it's not what folks have it you know I don't know it's cracked up to be I guess if you will um, if you look back actually look back for a couple of years you'll find that you know at best it was more like first part of June it certainly was not the first part of May and if you look around at some you know some stocks individual stocks I mean you'll find that there's a lot of good stuff out there a lot of good stuff and you know I don't I don't I just don't find it that easy to be to be short and certainly for me personally not even bearish not at this point you may ask, and I was asked today in the room, you know, well, where's that change? And okay, well, I'll say that a trade below, convincingly really, but below 2040 right in here would um, would have me nervous. And I would, I would start to consider, you know, changing my tune below there. But other than that, I look for this level right here, which is 72 half. There's another one at 84 and some change. And then 
these 94s right there, which ended the one-time framing up on the, that's that was the double top or capped the one-time framing up on the weekly. So you get 72, 84, 94, and then of course this adjusted all-time high at 2105. That's what, you know, That's that'll be our targets on the way up. So this is where we're wrong, and these are the targets on the way up. Hope this helps. Good trade. Nice evening. Catch you again at the, uh, the next update. Good night.